What's up, everybody? Welcome back to part two of our BPF series. Me and Karan are back. In part one, you saw us sit down, plan out what our BPF was going to contain. We built the entity. We added every all of the fields we were going to need. And then we kind of left you right there with a promise that we were going to come back and build the model-driven app. This model-driven app is our onboarding experience app, and it's going to house all of the questions and things that we want our HR person, our admin, and then eventually the employee to interact with and fill out so that we have a complete profile on them. All right, Karan, over to you. Let's jump in and build this thing out. All right, so here we are in the Power Apps uh, portal. Uh, last time around, we built the data model, we built the form. Okay. So now let's compose an app. All right. Uh, I'm going to build a model-driven app since you've already booked the model. Yes. So I'm going to go ahead, click on that. What this is going to do is open up the app designer. So this is where I give my app a name, maybe give it like its own custom icon, a bit of a description, things like that. Yeah, got so it. So it's called like employee onboarding, right? Yep. Uh, you know, capture all important employee info as a description. Yeah, and I'm just going to use like a default image. Oh, look at that. It's got its own little interface. You yeah. Are. And so Ooh. the beauty of this is once I publish it, I just need that one link to go to people. Nice. And that's how you get into the app. That is awesome. Um, and that's it. I'm done. So now that I've given it this basic information, I'm here in the app designer. All right. So this lets me do two things. One, from here, I can go ahead and add all the things I need to have in the app. OK. Uh, so this is all your entities. This is all the charts and reports that you've had. This also includes all the business processes you might want to all include. All right, okay. In addition, it also lets you design what we call the sitemap. So that's sort of like the menu that you use to navigate across. Got it. So if I wanted to go look at a particular chart or a dashboard or a business process, it builds my, my menu for me. Right on. So in this example, let's do two things. Okay. Let's add the entity that we made. Yep. And then we'll come back a little bit later and add the business process. Perfect. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and click on entities here. So here I am. I'm going to go ahead and design my sitemap. So I'm going to make this a new group and call it employee onboarding. Um, I don't have any icons to pick, but if I wanted to, I could add one. I'm okay. going to go ahead and save that thing. I need to go ahead. The next thing I need to do is go ahead and add a sub area. So sub areas are the things that people actually pick from a menu. OK. Um, all right. So in, as part of the sub area, it tells me what does this thing link to. Is it a dashboard? Is it an entity? Or is it just a URL to some site, like okay. Bing, for instance? OK. Uh, in this case, let's add the entity that we previously made. All right. So now here, I'm going to go ahead and search it up. Do you remember what it was called? Employee info. Yep. Did a good job naming it. And that's it. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and delete this extra sub area. You want know, to keep it for later uh, because that's what I'm going to add in my business process. OK. You know, I think it's like in a weird state. Maybe let's just like. Oh, and now it's gone. And now it's gone. OK, then. <laughs> and my changes didn't take here. So I'm going to go ahead and say rename this group by clicking on that and call it. Whoa, what's going on? It's moving my focus. There no, I did it again. Right, let's just do it in line here. <laughs> OK, now let's go ahead and save this guy. It's gone ahead and saved my sitemap. So now I can go to my app and click on, go to the Employee Onboarding tab and pick Employee Information to see the form that we made. OK. Next, I'm going to go ahead and publish. OK. So what this is going to do, it's going to bring in all the information it needs, the forms, the data model, and it's going to publish my app. Oh, just and that easy. I'm done. So it really, it just made the app for us pretty much. Yeah. Wow. So can we take a look at it? Yep. So let's make sure we're published here, and let's hit play. So you notice which navigated us to that particular app URL that we have that we can yeah. go ahead and share. Okay. If I click on the left hand side while that page loads, that's the one tab we added. Yeah. And that's our navigation. Okay. And that's the entity we've made, which is employee information. Perfect. Uh, by just 
by at the act of creating a, an entity, it gives you all of these different views, so you can see active employee information and inactive employee information. You can always go in and customize this to filter out what you want. It gives you charts out of the box as well. Very cool. And if I go ahead and click the plus new button, it gives me the opportunity to now actually view the form we designed. Okay. Uh, so you see we have a personal information tab with nice. all of this great info, employment yeah. information, and equipment. Very cool. This is a really long form though. There's like a ton of things to fill. Like imagine landing on this and being like, what do I do? Well, it is, yeah. And, and how do I know which sections I'm supposed to fill out or you're supposed to fill yeah. out? Yeah. And, you know, so I think this is why we need to go and get that business process in here. Totally. Okay. Right. Cool. Well, so that's it, guys. As simple as that. We went in, mapped out the entity into our app. It went ahead and built an app for us. We're going to go ahead in the next video, build the business process flow, get it plugged in to the model driven app here. And then in the final video, we'll show you how to use it all. All right, Karan, as always, what should they do? Like and subscribe. You heard the man. Like and subscribe. See you in the next video.